Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Top 3 Tips of the Week. I can only apologise for last week, um, it's been a little bit manic, I've been upgrading all of my uh, system and my editing software, so things have been a little bit all over the show, but we're back at it this week and I've got three absolute perlers of tips, which I have actually gone and utilised a little bit and I'm really enjoying them. So the score with this is if you want to get involved and showcase any of the tips, tricks, anything like that that you've got, you can head on over to my Discord, Twitter or Facebook, you can send me a DM or alternatively on my Discord you can leave it over in the tips suggestions. Obviously I will give full credit to anyone that does provide these tips if they get utilised in the video, but make sure to try and get involved. Just because you know a tip and it seems obvious to you, it may not be to someone else. So for tip number one today, we are going to be heading on over to Cafe. Um, this is a pretty common mirror spot. This is one that if you are forced to go and protect the bakery, a lot of people will set up a mirror here. They will then push through into this little sort of pantry kitchen area and they will open up all of this wall so they can cover the double door from there. Now, this is quite a difficult spot to shift a mirror from unless you're pushing through the double door and by that point you're pretty lit up. A lot of people know about this spot just here on the red stairs where you can open the top of the wall and look through, you get a really good line of sight. But the one thing you can't actually do is get a really good line of sight onto Mirror herself in that particular spot that I've just shown you there. So uh, we tried messing around a little bit to see if there were lines of sight that we could get. We vaulted up onto here, as you can see Dennis. I had a go. And you'll see Mirror stick her head out there, but as soon as she's back by the wall, you cannot actually see her. So you can stay here and wait and hopefully she's gonna peek out and you might get the pick. But there is another option, thanks to Nico. Now, for those of you that don't know, Nico has got a Twitter page. Um, he is a phenomenal player that comes up with the craziest of angles. And the amount of times I watch one of these and think, that is insane. It's clearly been in the game since day one. But look at this thing. You get a line of sight all the way down there and you can just destroy Mira and anyone else that is moving around in the bakery. So now I know I'm dwelling on this tip a little bit, I, I don't like to kick the arse out of these specific tips, but I really wanted to showcase this because the angles that you can get are very, very small, but very, very effective if used correctly. As you can see, the wall itself over there, it can be reinforced and you will still see over the top of it. Um, and if you are playing the mirror here, it's very difficult to return far onto that because by the time you actually get down low enough to see the enemy, your head's been taken off or you've been lit up and killed. Even hiding behind the bomb just here, I tried to find Dennis and actually like clearly see him, by which point you're dead, you know I mean? In that specific example, he probably could have killed me quite a bit earlier and he didn't, but it's just ridiculous. Now the other really cool thing about this is you can actually see through into that pantry as you can see here, you're gonna have a very limited angle it's going to be really difficult to land some of these shots. But if someone is walking around there or stop there and they don't realise, the amount of places that you can see and how far back into the room you can see from this angle, it's going to surprise a lot of people. You might be able to use it in ranked, you may be just using it in casual, but try and have some fun with this and see what you can do. For tip number two today, we are over on Clubhouse. This is going to be a spawn peak that I absolutely love. It's just a really cheeky one. Um, just by the gym hallway and in the master bedroom at the top of these stairs, you've got this wall here that you can see Doc peeking out of, and this is the line of sight you get. Anyone coming out of the shipping spawn, which is just over here, is going to get absolutely destroyed. It's just, it's such a cheeky spot, and there are quite a few different possibilities with it, but I'm just going to go ahead and showcase this. As you emerge from around this corner, most people will just immediately attempt to take out the camera, by which point it's too late. You're already getting lit up from that little hole through there. And, you know, it's if it's someone with a really accurate shot, your head is going to be taken off in seconds. It's really simple to do. All you need to do is move up to the wall. A single punch hole will do it. You could probably even get away with just one or two single bullet holes um, to peek through because you're so close to it and the distance is so far away. But as you can see here, you can just line up the shot as they stop to take out the camera. It's really effective. Really, really cheeky. You can crouch down and get a different line of sight. You will just clip the top of their heads, but obviously it makes it very, very difficult for them to see you. However, the chances of you landing that shot are also decreased massively. Now, as you can see here, playing as Kaid, it's even easier to do with this scope. It's just insane. And I don't care how bad the recoil is on the new, um, on the TTS right now. It's going to be mental utilizing a scope of this accuracy. So one of the other options, um, just in case people don't spawn over at shipping that you can actually do, 
is you can open up the wall and at the beginning of the phase, once the prep phase is over, you can look onto construction from this same balcony. So this is kind of a two for one as far as tips goes, but uh, a really, really cheeky little spot and one that hopefully you can utilize. For the final tip for today, here is one that was taken straight from a Yo Boy Roy live stream. I saw him do this and it was really, really clever. He's basically playing as Valk, came downstairs while they were protecting the kitchen and threw a Valk cam up on here. Now the thing I like about this Valk cam is the view is incredible and it's not somewhere that you would expect to see it. Nine times out of ten people are going to be looking up in the trees um, and looking around behind them to see whereabouts the Valk cam is. But you can do a run out from here and I'm not detected until the top of the stairs, by which point hopefully people are too busy. Now both the lads I was playing with and doing this tip with went, that is really crazy. I didn't expect you to be that far out before you detected. And then they said, it'll be even more effective if you had a Valk cam outside, to which I said there was. And you can see them looking the wrong way at this point until I told them where the camera was. Instantly, everyone went looking in the tree. They both thought, well, it's got to be in the tree. That's the most common spot for a Valk cam. So this kind of tip is out of nowhere. You know, you don't, it's not a normal spot that you would check for at the beginning of a round. If you are getting spotted, you're less likely to look there. And as you can see, anyone that's trying to push this trophy window, which people very often do, they very often stack up outside of here, they're going to get absolutely destroyed. So I have utilized this a few times and I would definitely recommend it. As you can see from this clip, I was up against the trophy window. Dennis wasn't detected until he was all the way out. And as you saw there, Ben finally gets to the top of the stairs and then the icon appears above him. So you can capitalize on that brief window of opportunity. If you're busy trying to deal with someone in trophy, you didn't even see enemy outside detected then and I was already dead. So hopefully you can utilize this one as well. Unfortunately, that's everything I've got for you this week. Hopefully you like these tips. Hopefully you didn't already know them. And if you do, now, hopefully, you can utilize them to improve your game, get you some kills, bag you some more wins on Ranked. Now, I'm going to be trying to be uploading more videos over the next few weeks. However, a lot of them will be full Ranked games that have gone really, really well. And I think showcase a lot of different kinds of things within those games. But uh, I will be going away over Christmas for a week or two. So I'm trying to schedule as many as I can to go out ahead of time. But it does mean I may not be around for a week or two to actually upload any tips or tricks videos. I'm going to try and get some more done and scheduled, but I can't promise anything because life is manic right now. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay reckless and relentless.